Today we got a lot of rain. We actually had pretty good weather all week until yesterday when the rain started. Um, so I don't know yet how things have gone for the bees. Uh, I thought I wouldn't be able to get a chance to inspect the hives today because of all the rain. Then it led up this afternoon and gave me a little break. We have a, a wedding going on next door here, so we hear a lot of chatter and laughter and even fireworks. Uh, that's them. I took some of the advice that I got from my last video about the smoker and made some adjustments to how I pack it and light it. And it seems to be doing a little better this time. So hopefully it will last for me. Some honey going there. So I didn't give them any food last week, so I'm interested to see how much honey they've got now and if they are able to find any nectar over the week of good weather. Oh, it's really heavy on one side. Yep, got a lot of honey in there. That's good. Oops, sorry. Right, it's loaded up with honey. But it's not capped yet, which means got some time until it's, well, they started capping the honey on the other side, but this is nothing but honey. There's no pollen, no brood, just honey. Can we add another? No, I'd, I'd like this to be filled up first before we add another super. So apparently they have been finding nectar. So it could be blackberries. Could be. More honey. More honey. I don't see. Yeah, there are some eggs in here too. So there's mostly honey on this frame, but a little bit of brood. Uh, there's some eggs here too, but again, mostly honey. And I wanted the brood to be up in this third box, um, so this is fine. Now we're back to brood. 
Um, yeah, mostly brood, but some honey. Yeah, they do put honey in there too. It's not always just brood. Huh. They like to be able to have it in a convenient location. How many bees do you think is in a hive like this? Oh, no idea. Tens of thousands? That bee. Oh, that's a drone. That's why it's loud. Okay. Yeah. When they get loud, sometimes they're getting angry, but that was just a drone. Taking a break. So a lot of this brood is hatched, and the queen hasn't come back yet. No, I take that back. She has. There's eggs in there. So they're good, doing a good job of keeping brood going up here in the top. We're also bringing in nectar. See a queen cup down there, but it's not in a position where I can. Oh, here's one I can see what's in it. There's a bee looking down inside it. But there's no egg. Oops. So. Remind me to bring a chair next time. Uh, you got a problem standing? Yes. Brood. So you're probably going to add another super next week? Um, maybe. Let me see how it goes. How can they build all the honeycomb really wavy? How or why? Why? They can't build it perfectly straight. Yeah, but on the other ones, it's there's thousands of bees. On the other ones, there's per it's almost perfectly straight, and on the honey ones, it's totally wavy. I don't know. Well, because there's the honey cells, they usually um, build a little deeper than the brood, and since it has honey and brood on there, the brood is more shallow. That's where you get your waviness. This is honey. So, uh, I don't need to add any food this week because they seem to be doing just fine with honey stores. In the next frame, they've begun building out the comb. There's nothing much though, so I'm not going to bother pulling it out. How heavy is this hive without any of the hive products in it, the bees, comb? Just the lid, the frames, and the boxes in the bottom. The base and an empty box weighs 35 pounds empty. Each box weighs 11 and a half pounds empty with frames. So you can figure it out there. Sticky. <laughs> drone well, this is a lot of drone brood here. Yeah, just drone brood. A full frame of drone brood. There's some drone brood here and 
Looks like some more drone route. We got worker brood here. Some pollen and honey. Eggs and larvae. Looks like worker brood. Well, they have finally built out some comb on the next frame. Last week, this frame, the next one that I pick up, you know, I'll show you, was completely empty. No comb. Uh, it was a frame that I had put in when I pyramided things up, pyramided the brood nest up into the third box. I moved two brood frames up and I replaced them with two empty frames. And I, I've noticed that when they have uh, food, when I feed them syrup it, and they're busy, they, it only takes them about two weeks to, come, to fill out a frame. So last week I was expecting to see that filled out, but due to their state of starvation the week before that, they really couldn't get anything any comb built. So this one is uh, about a third of the way filled out. So they're doing well with this one. I don't I wonder what they're putting in it though. So I see pollen and some eggs. They're, they're still filling out with brood. That's what I would hope and expect. This is the frame where I first spotted those queen cups a few weeks ago. And I actually don't even see any. They might have. No, there's one. I thought maybe they dismantled them, but they, they didn't. They're still there, but they're not drawn out or elongated or capped, so it shouldn't be a problem. <clears throat> trying to clear them out of the way. There's no eggs in these three that I see here. Yeah, they're empty. No concerns there. Getting in my way again. Smells like the pine cones I put in there lit up. Smells good. Oops. Got some bridge comb going here. I know you do. You gotta get it. Give me my high tool back when you're done with it. This one they had just started building up the comb on last week. Stick my pocket there, thanks. Dirty fax. We're standing in front of the entrance here.
Well, they just made it wobbly there, that's all. This is kind of an empty frame. Where's honey? Um, no, I see eggs and the young larva. I wonder if the queen's here. Yeah, a bunch of young larva. I hear a happy hum in the hive. I hear that hum? Very quiet. That's a good sound. It's very quiet. That means yeah, it's queen right. And yeah, tens of thousands of these. They're not aggressive right now. Half the bees on this frame are drones. <laughs> My fingers are sticking together from all this propolis. Well, now I know why the drones were all on that other frame, because this is the kitchen. This is honey and neck and pollen. Drones are asking for some handouts. What are they doing on the other side? That well, they were on that side mostly, on the other side, so they'd be up in contact with this one. And this has a lot of drones on it, too. A lot of drones in here, they're the noisy ones. <coughs> I'm interested to see how much brood is in this one. Brood nests look good up in the top two boxes. Filling this drone comb with honey. Yeah. There is uh, some drone comb, mostly worker comb, but filling it with honey and, and pollen. Over on this side, this end. I've got a bee going on my fingers, so I'm going to squish if I try to use my fingers. It is some. Yeah. Got a lot of pollen and Drones are all flying around, making a lot of noise. Um, all right, we have some larvae here. And some. And a lot of pollen. Larvae and pollen. Mostly pollen, though. Not much larvae here. Slow movements. Yeah, I figured out why they're interested in my hands. 
because I've got propolis all over my fingers. This one's uh, got some good brood going. This is where we saw the queen last time, I think. It was this, I think it was this one or the night previous one. Got eggs. Eggs and pollen. It's about half and half. Eggs and pollen. Most of the honey's up towards the top. And then I don't see a whole lot of honey down here, but I saw plenty in the upper boxes. Got a lot of pollen in this frame. To be on the inside of my pan that is in my way. Alright, there we go. This is mostly pollen. So I think these last four frames were probably nothing but pollen. I'll just take a quick look at them just to make sure. Color is all the pollen. A lot of it is kind of a whitish gray. Yeah. yeah. Blackberries. Yeah. Pollen. The last two, I know they're just filled with pollen. I saw them last week. I'm not going to see this one. This is uh, something weird. Just like a dirty comb or something. Oh, it's putting some honey in here. Too. Nice to the pollen. Nice the pollen. It's right here. It's covered by bees. Bees are thick here. Oh no, that's larva. larva, drone larva. But over here is the pollen in the middle. There you go. There's one with some yellow pollen over right here. Really. You see it? Move it. Let go. Big fat drone. They land hard. So I'm going to close this box up now. I don't need to see those last two. I know they're pollen. Yeah. All right. Let's see if I can get these boxes back on without doing too much damage this time. We're getting too frustrated myself. It doesn't look like they like the edges as much anymore. Oh. Out of the way. Out of the way. I think I made it worse. I'll probably squish a couple. But I don't think there's anything I can do about that. When a thousand die a day. See? Did that work? Yeah. Nice. I got crushed. At least I didn't hear anything. Yeah, I didn't hear anything either. 
that's easier then. Yeah, that's what I meant the entire time by rotating it. Uh-huh. Okay. And now the third box. They're uh, just kind of chewing on the popples there. They're not getting in the way. Okay. I think we figured it out. You can do the same thing with that one too. I know. There were some bees on there. I knew I was going to crush if I did that. This one's lighter and I can see what's going on easier.